Guess what guys, I am actually making my own DIY pre-poo. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11. If you're new here, thank you for coming by. If you're already subscribed, Okay, so today I'm going to be trying something different. I am going to be trying a pre-poo for the first time ever. Yes, guys. I'm just going to do it today. I've never done a pre-poo before in my life, but I was just reading the benefits of it. One being that it helps to soften your hair, helps to keep your hair hydrated, helps with hair growth, helps with scalp health, and obviously other benefits, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it today. Bit nervous, but guess what guys? I am actually making my own DIY pre-poo. So, I was looking at the ingredients that I was going to use, I was trying to see what I had in my kitchen and around the house, and I've decided to use three ingredients for a specific reason. So the first ingredient I'm going to be using, Aussie dupe moisture conditioner that I got from Lidl. Now, if you haven't seen the video on that, I'll leave the link down in the description below. It's a normal washout conditioner. Just for the fact that I love the way this conditioner works on my hair. It has amazing slip, it makes my hair nice and soft, so I know already we're going to have good hair with this product. <laughs> Second product being my glycerin. Okay, now I picked this glycerin up in Boots and the reason why I'm going to be adding glycerin to my pre-poo treatment is because glycerin, as you may know guys, is a humectant. So that basically encourages the moisture from the surrounding areas, basically the air, to get into your hair. And it also promotes retaining moisture, okay? Third ingredient I'm going to be using, I think I've thrown the bottle away now, but this is actually black seed oil. And I did show it in one of my previous videos, the actual packaging. But this is black seed oil. And the reason I'm going to be using this is because I think it's best to have an oil in a pre-poo treatment. And the benefits of the black seed oil is it definitely helps with scalp health any flaking, itching, what have you. It helps with hair loss, hair thinning. And even though I haven't got hair loss, I do find that sometimes the back of my hair, just at the nape, I feel can get a bit thin. I don't know if it's just in my head or if it really is getting thin, but anything that promotes hair growth and hair thickness, I'm all for it. Okay, and then the third ingredient I'm going to be adding is warm water and the reason why I'm going to be using warm water guys is because the warm water helps the hair shafts on my strands to open so all the moisture and all the products that I'm applying the pre-poo treatment to my hair it helps to penetrate into the strands and also the glycerin is quite thick so I do want to water it down a bit so let's get started okay so first I'm going to start off by mixing the remainder of the conditioner it's nearly finished now so I'm just going to use the rest of that so this is one tablespoon so I can roughly tell you how much you need I've got as you can see a lot of hair so I think we'll be needing a lot more than one tablespoon seeing as one tablespoon <laughs> is this <laughs> do you know what I'm just gonna have to leave this out just throw the whole bottle in so this is what I've got so far that is not going to be enough for my hair so I'm going to just add a little bit more I've got this other conditioner here. Now, I wasn't aiming to use more than one conditioner, but as I just ran out of the other conditioner, just going to add some of them to the bowl. I do like the way this also has a nice slip. Right, so this is what I've got so far, a bowl of conditioner. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and add my glycerin. This is, as I said, one tablespoon. All right, I'm gonna use about three tablespoons. So with the ingredients minus the conditioners, I'm aiming to use three tablespoons, just judging by how much is in the bowl and how much I feel my hair will manage. Okay, so three tablespoons of the black seed oil. And also the black seed oil has an amazing fragrance. I love this stuff. It just smells so yummy. It smells like a clean body soap. Right, so I've got that so far. And now I'm going to add in my warm water. Again, I'm going to put three tablespoons of warm water. One, two, three. Right, so let me show you that. And I'm going to just mix it in. 
I'm hoping this will be enough on my hair. I'm gonna do it section by section just to make sure that I have enough to coat all my hair. Right, so it's almost like a yogurt consistency, if you can see that. Yay, guys, I made my first pre-poo. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that there for a second just to like, you know, marinate. And then what I'm gonna do is start section in my hair. I don't like to manipulate my hair without wetting it. You know, I don't like to just go in on dry hair. So I'm going to use warm spray in my water bottle. And I'm just gonna separate my hair into sections. So I'm gonna put this section out of the way just for a minute. We just, I've got to spray my ends so it helps my ends of my hair separate all together. Okay. Actually, I just might do it in four sections. See, this bit's a bit tangled. I'm quite interested to figure out what the effects are of the pre-poo over a certain period of time. I think I may put this, start putting this, putting this, I can't speak, into my regimen if I yield good results today. Right, so I've got a tangle there. There you go. As I said, when my hair bunches up in the middle, it needs some moisture. As you can see now, my hair's been able to stretch down. Okay, so now my hair's nice and damp. I'm gonna go ahead and just split it. Okay, so I'm gonna go and spray this part. As you can see, it's reactivated the hair product that I had in my hair. And the hair product I actually used, which was Cream of Nature Curl Activator, actually stated that it was a detangler, so I'm hoping this will help. It's a bit runny. Feels very, very smooth. It's got an amazing slip, as I'm sure it would do. Okay, so let me just put this twist away. It literally smells like a body lotion. Mm. I'm gonna go on every section on my hair, what I've done with the first section, which is to spray it with warm water, then apply the pre-poo treatment. Mm -hmm. And guys, I'm not actually deep conditioning my hair today because I think doing two treatments, deep conditioning and pre-pooing is a bit much. Okay guys, so this is what I've got so far. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side of camera just because I'm sure you don't wanna see me do the other side like I just done. But what I, I like about doing a pre-poo treatment, I didn't think I would like it, I thought it was a waste of time to be honest. It does cut out the time of deep conditioning for me. I know you do need to get deep conditioning guys, don't get on my back about it. <laughs> but it cuts out the time I suppose. It's better to add something to your hair than nothing at all. So it's better for me to just pre-poo wash, condition, and then style, rather than me just washing my hair with shampoo, condition for two minutes, and then style, because I've seen my hair's not getting the maximum moisture that it could be getting. Okay guys, so I've done this side now. As I said, I'm gonna sit there for about half an hour. I'm not putting a cap on my head just because I'm being lazy and I can't be bothered, really. <laughs> I've got this amount left, and I'm going to be washing my baby girl's hair tonight. So I will be putting that on her hair in a sec so she can have a pre-poo treatment spa evening with mommy. <laughs> and I will see you soon. But hey guys, I'm just about to wash out my hair. I completely forgot, time has flown past. I've had it in for about an hour and a half now. <laughs> so I'm gonna quickly wash it out and I will come back to you straight away. All right guys, so stay tuned. Hey guys, so I've just rinsed the pre-poo out of my hair. Well, not just rinsed, I've rinsed it out and shampooed my hair with Tresemme Moisture Conditioning Shampoo. And as you can see, my hair's still tangled because of the shampoo. I do need to put some conditioner in there. But I just wanted to show you these parts. Usually, I have more of a frizz. I know it's quite frizzy now, but I have more of a frizz and less definition. So the pre-poo has actually, especially on this side, as you can see, 
It's usually in my crown that I get the frizzy parts, but they have definition. The pre-poo has definitely, definitely helped define my curls. My hair feels soft, it feels moisturized. My styler I'm going to be using is a cream styler, so I will be putting in a leave-in conditioner underneath the cream styler, just for added moisture and shine. But overall guys, I definitely think you should definitely try a pre-poo treatment. So what I'm gonna do is just style my hair and that's it. But I think, to be honest, I'm gonna explore this pre-poo treatment a bit more. I may actually go out and buy some. <laughs> now I know the effects that it can have on your hair, but if it is easier economically to make it financially, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But overall guys, yeah, I'd say try pre-poo for yourself. So that is it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the, in the comment section. Uh, I will leave the products I used in the description box and all that jazz. Don't forget to check out my eBay store where you can purchase some of the items I've used in my previous videos on my eBay store. And that is it guys, so I will see you soon. All right, bye.